Hey guys, this is Wes and welcome to another episode of The Makeshift on ISA TV. Thanks to everyone that's uh, submitting their own crafts. I think a lot of people like the awkward octopus we made, so let's take a look at those. Today we're going to be making a makeshift website. Not the kind you would find on the internet, but an actual physical website. I also know Valentine's Day is coming up and some of you guys celebrate that, so this could possibly be a good gift for your Valentine. If not, um, you can make it on your own and be awesome by yourself. And there's no shame in that, you know. Single people are, are happy to be happy. All right, let's get started. Okay, so for our website, we actually do not need a computer or technology of any kind. We just need some thread, some clothespins. You might remember these from our very first episode. We use these to make a lion. Some thumbtacks and scissors. And surprisingly, today for our craft, we will not be using glue. I know it's a shock, but um, we don't need this guy. So, so we're good. The most important part of today's craft is a frame. It doesn't have to be a frame like this. You could probably actually make your own. Uh, but I just picked this up at an art store. It could be any size. So, let's go. All right, so, this frame is actually for um, a photo or a print, but we're gonna be doing something a little different. So we don't need this, this backing. So we can just take this out. Okay. We just need the frame by itself. This, I don't know, these are always fun for some reason. This is how you guys all see me, right? In, in a, just in, in a window like this. I don't go, okay, never mind. So next, we are going to take our thumbtacks and we're going to push them into different parts of the inner edge of the frame. And it really doesn't matter where you put them. So these are very pointy. So don't point yourself because it's going to hurt. So let's just start anywhere. I'm going to put one right here. You don't have to put it all the way in. Like, you can leave a little bit. That'll actually help for later. You guys should do this when you're stressed out or angry at something. Take your anger out on this, this wooden frame by stabbing it with tacks. Kind of feels nice. So as you can see, it's just like anywhere you want, however many you want. The more the better, actually, I think. You'll see why. Okay, so as you can see, we have our thumbtacks placed uh, in all these random places. And if you feel like you have too many, you can take them out later or you can add more later. And uh, would you believe that we're like halfway through with this craft? So we're going to take our string and each little thumbtack is a place where the string can connect. Every, you want to try to reach all the thumbtacks if you can and create a web, that's why it's called a web um, But the more intersections, the better. So you want to keep the string as tight as possible, keep the tension, because tension is not always a bad thing especially in this case. Ooh, it's a web. It's a web. I feel like a spider weaving a web or a web designer creating a website. Bad joke. Okay, so the way to finish this is you just have to find a point to end it. I think there's good. And I think if you just wrap it around a few times, All right, so there is our, uh, our web. Kind of intricate, kind of cool. But now we're just gonna push in our thumbtacks fully to lock everything in place. You could use your hands or this baby right here. This is the ultimate makeshift hammer. It's a wooden uh, rod with the hammer head and a nail that's holding it in place. Oh wow, probably isn't. That's probably not the safest thing to use. Use something better than this, but I'm gonna use this because I'm dangerous. Okay. 
We're all in. So here's our frame, and ultimately what this is for is to slide in different photos or uh, scraps. Um, it's a website for all your memories, okay? Let's say I have a picture of the sky, which is very meaningful to me. Slip it in, like that, like that. It's there, it's, it's held in place by the web of um, intricateness. And if you want to add some more flair, you can use these nifty little clothes pins again that we love so much. Clip on them on like that, it adds a different look. Um, you can paint the frame however you want. I'm probably gonna paint mine white. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this craft, the makeshift website. I think it's really simple, super easy to make, super quick. All right, I think we're done. This is the final website uh, based on the uh, David Choi music video we did. That girl, that's David right there. Nice field, and it slowly works up to the sky. Yours can be, you know, as cluttered as this or sparse. I think it's a different look. I was thinking it'd also be cool to uh, do a portrait of someone like this big and then cut it up and then piece it back together. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. You can use photos like I did, or uh, illustrations, or even text. I think that would look cool too. I hope you guys enjoyed making this uh, website and this craft. It's really easy. I hope you guys personalize it and make it your own. And remember, it's an idea for Valentine's, if you're in need of any ideas. Um, but yeah, enjoy, and uh, I'll see you next time on The Make Shit. Bye.